Are you as curious as I am about other people's businesses and behind the scenes on their planning processes? So am I. I always find a nugget that I can apply to my own. So in this week's video, I'm flipping things around and giving you a behind the scenes sneak peek at how I plan my week to get all my priorities done and a look at my weekly dashboard template. <music> If you're new here, my name is Haley Dale. I am a content and sales funnel strategist helping you create more productive, purposeful, and yes, profitable content too. So if that sounds like something you're looking for, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below this video for more value-packed videos just like this one every single Monday. I've got a confession. I am obsessed with planners. At the height of my planner obsession, which was in 2015, I bought 13 different planners. I'm a bit of a commitment phobe when it comes to my planners. And I still buy multiple planners, even though my outlook on them has changed. So I was previously, before I realized this, I was on the hunt for the holy grail of planning systems, thinking that there was one out there and only one, like a soulmate kind of situation of planners that would solve all of my planners planning problems would help me finally be able to commit to a system when I realized that there is actually no planner out there that is perfectly right for me. And even if I create my own, which I frequently do, it's not like it's going to be my perfect planning process in all scenarios at all times of year in all seasons. And so what I realized is that the plan needs to be able to adapt to me and to adapt to what I'm planning for and what my week looks like. So with that in mind, more important for me is finding a planner with a great weekly dashboard. And that is something I have not found. And so that is something that I've created myself. So a weekly dashboard, which gives me a high level view at not only my meetings and my appointments that are going on for the week, but also a project plan treatment of my priorities for that week and when I plan on getting things done. So now I still am obsessed with planners. I still buy multiple planners every year, but I've started to look at them as basically really beautiful dated notebooks where I can take notes, where I can keep lists for the day, but it's not something that I'm relying on for my actual plan and strategy of how I'm going to get everything done that week. And that is something that those daily planners focus on and do so beautifully is that they help you plan the day really well and they even help you plan the month really well. But I found that that doesn't really matter that much if you think about it. I think what's more important is like what you do on that week and daily level that is most important. So at the center of my planning process is my weekly planning kit. So my weekly dashboard. And I'm going to share an overview as well as my process for using it here. So this is my weekly planning kit and I used to do it as a PDF. In fact, down below this video, you'll find a PDF version of this, but now I actually store it in Google docs and I save it as a template so that every time I have a new week, I can just simply right click, add a new template, and then this thing will pop up. Now, the first thing I obviously do is I put my dates in here. So if I was planning for tomorrow, when I'm recording this video, a little behind the scenes here, I would go 01, 25, 2021. 20, and then I would also put January 25th as my Monday start date. Then the first thing that I want to do is I want to put down all of my appointments for the coming week. And I want to put down all of the sales calls I have, all of the coaching calls I have, all of my client meetings for my strategy sessions for my funnel package. I also want to put any of my mastermind time. And that is really where I start because I want to know that when I'm planning out my priorities and I'm planning when I'm actually going to be working on things, that I know that I'm I'm not planning a ton for Monday if that happens to be a crazy meeting day. So I'm able to really work with the time I actually have rather than have some delusion, aka optimism, <laughs> when I'm planning out my week. So for me, Wednesdays are my meeting days. So Wednesdays are usually not so. And so usually I'm getting more done on the other days. So that's the first things first. Then the next thing I do is I plan out, well, what are my three priorities for the coming week? What are the three areas that I want to work on? So uh, right now I'm working on a webinar in February, like a workshop live webinar for my community. I'm working on client work on there and I'm working on some system stuff. So I would put that down here and I'd put what the actual project was. Then what I do is I want to give those um, priorities the project plan treatment. Now the reason I only plan three and even though I might get more done, that's why I have this other column here, is because 
even I want to put myself in a situation where even if I get really busy, even if something unpredictable comes up, that I can focus on getting these three done and know that I'm moving towards my monthly, my quarterly and my yearly plans. So that is why I limit myself to three because I want to set myself up for success. And if it happens to be a week where I get a lot more extra time for work, then I can get more done. And that is just a cherry on top. But this is like my baseline, my bare minimum and my win if I get those three things done, if I get those priorities worked on. So then after I have those priorities, so let's say I put down webinar, let's say I put down ops manual, and I might get more specific. So this might be for right now, I'm working on admin systems. And then this would be February, webinar and then if another one of my priorities was let's see here okay so survey report so then once I have those there I'm gonna move these priorities down into my project plan treatment area so I would just copy this and I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna go uh, paste without formatting because I'm a nut nuts about my formatting admin systems I'll do the same thing then I would put down my other priority here my third main priority then I have this other column so if there's anything that maybe I have to get done that isn't part of these priorities I would put it there and then because I have clients I work in my agency and I'm the main strategist and quality control person over there. I also have a section for client work as well. So if anyone works with clients, you'll probably want to have that column in there too. So then what I would do is I want to put down, so for each of these priorities, I want to give myself at least five minutes for each of these to really detail out what are my specific action steps to get this webinar done. And I want to try to break it down into one to two hour chunks at most. I don't want to be putting anything on here that's going to be an eight hour task. So it might be something like webinar outline. And then an extra step here is I like to also put down the time I think I'm going to need it. So I might need, let's say 45 minutes for that one. Then I would do my webinar storyboard and I can do that probably in 25 minutes. If I have a good outline, then webinar slides rough. And I'm going to put 60 minutes for that. Then webinar graphics. So extra graphics, 60 minutes, and then webinar final presentation. And I'll give myself 60 minutes for that. Then I want opt-in copy. And so I'll give myself uh, 25 minutes for that. Thank you, page video, 15 minutes. Build, let's say webinar welcome probably 15 minutes I have a template that I can work off of and then build sign up system and I'm gonna put 45 minutes for that so for each of these that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get as many action steps as possible because it isn't very helpful to just have webinar on my to-do list and on my priority list but what is helpful is knowing each of the steps and hopefully in the order plus the amount of time I estimate that I need for them so I'm gonna repeat this for the following items on my list so if this was I'll break this down and I'll break down survey report then for other like I said I'm going to capture anything that maybe doesn't belong to these priorities but aren't client work but they're things that I have to get done so for this one it might be stuff like it might be also errands that I need to remember or presentations or collaborations that I'm working on then I'll also put down my client work so what are my priorities for my client work so generally I know that I have Mondays and Wednesdays for client work so I can put those down then what I want to do is I want to give these I want to just like color code the crap out of this so what I will do is if it's a Monday thing and I also find what's really helpful for this is theme days so for me Monday I'm working on some client work my monthly clients and I also do like my main project so I'd be working on the webinar on that day Tuesday I'm working on content so my monthly content we created on a monthly basis so I usually do that on Tuesday unless I don't have it as one of my priorities and I'll work on something else another main project Wednesday is my meeting day so I usually have like anywhere between 10 to 11 hours of meetings on Wednesdays depending on the day but it's usually pretty crazy but because I'm an introvert that actually works better for me because I'm able to work fully work on the rest of the days so Wednesdays are my meeting days and I also do some client work on those days in between the meetings then Thursday is going to be my other project day and my work on my other businesses on that day and then Friday is my CEO and admin and systems day it's when I'm doing like my financial I'm reviewing bookkeeping. I'm also creating systems. I'm meeting with my leadership team. So I put down, so it's easy when I go to classify these things because I also have these themes. And then weekend I try to take off, but I usually use it as an overflow if there happens to be anything that I need to work on. So then what I would do is I would just like, I highlight each of these 
and I go this little button here of paint format. And if this is a Monday task, I'm going to do that. Then let's say I'm going to do my storyboard on Monday too. Let's say on Tuesday, I'm going to do my webinar slides. So basically what I would do is I would just go through all of these and I would group them together. I'm color coding them based on these colors here. So then my final step here is I want to create myself an action list because there's going to be a bunch of colors here and they're not going to all make sense. So I'm going to put the stuff that I have daily. So I have my engagement round where I answer emails because I'm not the very best at emails. I go into Asana, I check in with my team and I go on social media and I have conversations with my students and with my community. Community. Then what I'll do is I'll grab all of the Monday tasks and I'll just copy and paste them in there, go and grab the rest of them, go grab Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then I'll come back through and I'll order these in the order that I want to tackle them. And then I will save this as a bookmark so that I can easily find it on my bookmark dashboard here. So that is how I plan my week. So it very much goes from appointments, priorities, giving those priorities, the project plan treatment, along with including time estimates. So that way, if I'm planning a day that has like 12 hours of work, I know I need to probably simplify things. And then I'm building my daily list based on the color coding that I've put above. So feel free to copy my planner, create your own version of it. Down below this video, you're going to find a PDF version of my weekly planning kit, which you can download and make your own. So I'd love to know what's in your weekly planning process. Let me know in the comments or ask any questions. I'm an open book. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to click on the next video on your screen and subscribe for more videos just like this one every single Monday.